Hello, welcome to Whiteye's channel. Today we're looking at the South Wales coastal route for Train Simulator, a route that I've been waiting for for quite a long time. I remember a while ago I put a message up on Steam asking if they were going to do a route for South Wales and one of the developers was looking at the feedback that they'd get and he said if there was interest in it they would do it and they have and this is it. So, being from South Wales myself I'm very familiar with these routes so let's see what it looks like. We're in the Arriva trains, which you can get as part of the package on Steam. So that's the Arriva train there. So far it's looking good. There's the Millennium Stadium in the background in the background. And off we go. So we're going into Cardiff Pla Central Platform 2, which is a platform which I used to get on to go to London. And let's see if this scenery is accurate. So we get inside the passenger compartment. Yep, that looks pretty good. That uh, looks like an Arriva train. Let's turn around. Yep. That's great. So we've got to be aware here. There's a bit of a 15 mile hour speed limit. Looks like a gloomy day. Car Central Platform 2, we're approaching. And we've got to make sure that we don't go too fast because otherwise it will penalise us. So here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. There's our Arriva train. And that's Cardiff, the capital of Wales, if you're not familiar with South Wales. A city I know very well. So approaching the 15 mile hour speed limit. And then we can pull into the platform, collect some passengers and move on to Newport. Now there's a couple of different scenarios and, and um, routes, but we'll have a look at in the menu later. And I believe that we have the famous Swansea to London line which is a high speed line so we won't be covering that today as it's um, nearly a two hour journey so we won't be able to do that today but we will be looking at a trip from Cardiff Central to Newport which is only one stop it's about 15 minutes so it gives us a chance to see what the route is like and uh, pulling in now at the 15 mile hour speed limit it's just we're supposed to be there at 15 21s 15.20 but we're going to be a little bit late so oh we might be all right so far it is looking very familiar Cardiff Central it looks like Cardiff Central and we're going to do this in time oh we're speeding there you go just slightly took my eye off the, uh, the speedometer there so let's pull in it's the platform go oh. I didn't mean to do that but there you go so let's open the doors let's have a look Cardiff Central the clock there in the background that's that's familiar the, the boards here I always used this is platform one and I always used to wonder why those boards are there normally you get advertising on them but they are blank like that in real life so whoops uh, if you can just see the Millennium Stadium that's there that's correct uh, so it's looking pretty authentic. The steps, yep, that's there. Very impressed. Yeah. It's looking very much like Cardiff Central. So that's done. Uh, passenger point complete. So off we go and head towards Newport. Let's dive back in. And off we go to Newport. So Newport's the next stop after Cardiff. And there's the whistle and we're on our way so Newport is the next stop after Cardiff and then you normally generally got Bristol Bristol uh, Parkway uh, and then it goes on to Swindon Reading and London Paddington but obviously we, today we're just doing a local route they're going from Cardiff to Newport and then Newport is another station that we're familiar with I've used Newport a lot uh, when I was commuting to work so it'll be interesting to see what that looks like I haven't seen it yet this is the first time I've driven this this route so so far I'm impressed and I've, I've been waiting for this route for quite a while obviously because it's uh, a route I'm familiar with so I want to just peek out the train here oh, it's gonna, gonna gonna go over the speed limit again here we go yep that's looking very much like Cardiff Centre and that building in in the uh, 
but we're approaching is actually Brunel House which used to be a British rail building and named after Brunel one of the uh, pioneers of tran rail transport I'm slowed on a bit too much the hotels there on the left let's see A lot of uh, low speed limits by here. Another Riva train there you can see coming in. So for 40 miles an hour, let's increase our speed. So we're going to be having a new port platform for in about. Uh, 10 minutes or so so there's the view from the track side should get some sound as we walk past there you go speeding again so just get that speed under the 40 again So the scenery very m and the tracks are seem very, very, very familiar. In fact, and qu quite accurate, if not very accurate. Sorry, um, a good position to judge, having done this route a lot of times. Let's look at the passenger compartments. Like, let's increase our speed a bit. The only thing I'd say about uh, the um, passenger as I'm not sure whether you can walk around it's a bit of a shame it'd be good if you could just walk around I can zoom in and out it'd be okay if you could just walk around as well so heading towards Newport still a bit of, still a bit of track here now we've got more to 75 so that's great let's bring up the 70 speed a bit Oh look, the guy's changed. Normally he's always the same guy driving every train, but he's changed. <laughs> so increasing a bit of speed to 75 is the maximum. So we've got a bit to go yet. And we should get to Newport in about 10 miles. So what do I think of it so far? Well, I'm very impressed. Um, this is one of the routes I've been waiting for for quite a while, like I said. There was a discussion on the steam groups about the Welsh route. And it's great to see that dovetail off. Oh, listening to people and um, we had a lot of routes for Germany and we had a lot of routes for England but we weren't getting many routes outside the main countries of Germany, England and, um, and Scotland so we've now got Austria, we've got China I know they've, they've signed a contract or I think they've signed a deal with SNCF which is the French trains so we should see some some French trains I hope to see a bit more European trains as well especially in Italy which has got a good rail network uh, but South Wales I gotta say thanks to Zeptail for producing it. This is something I have been waiting for and I'm not disappointed. So, so far, no crashes, no glitches. I hope we don't talk too soon. And the scenery is quite accurate. So, let's see, let's get some other views. And the frame rate's good, it's staying at uh, 46. That's good. Let's bring that up a notch, let's go a bit faster. So we're going to be a little bit late in Newport. That's probably my fault because I've been talking a lot and not looking at the speed. And the Arriva trains are depicted quite accurately as well. So let's uh, let's try another track side view. You know, we're approaching top speed so you need to slow down a little bit. Back inside. Let's blow the horn. Looks like the intercity from London on the right. Again, like I said, there's a lot of different routes. There's a Taunton uh, Cardiff service, there's the uh, Swansea to London service, and we'll have a quick look at those routes that are available uh, when we finish this uh, journey, which uh, should be a few minutes now before we get into Newport. Of course, after Newport, then you've got uh, Seven Tunnel, and you've got Bristol Temple Meads, and um, 
and then it, you either go to Cheltenham or you can go to uh, Swindon I believe sorry Bristol and Swindon and now we're at 95 miles an hour oh yeah look we got an achievement South Wales Coastal Red Lining whatever that means but there you go that's something achievement let's have a look how fast this train is going from the track side then we increase a bit of speed so we're on a good fast bit of track So I'll probably produce a video for the uh, London Swansea route, but it'll probably be a long video which I can place on the site and people can have a look at as they wish. But as a review, it's a lot easier to do a, a shorter journey because otherwise I could be babbling on for a long time. And I don't know if I'll be able to talk for two hours. So uh, we're six miles away from Newport, approaching. See what it's like from the passenger side. At, uh, we get about 87 miles an hour now. There's the, the green grass of home, the green grass of Wales. Can't see any sheep though. We've got uh, obviously the other views, you can nip out the window and nip out the other side. And of course, we use these arrow keys, you can scroll back and this is the in this train you've got the brake and, and accelerator on the same uh, handle if you push it below that dotted line then you start to brake the um, the reverser is on uh, forward and back to go forwards and backwards and that's quite simple the controls I haven't had a look, good look in the cockpit yet so let's have a look so that's the accelerator and brake there brake and throttle control yeah there you go so you can see it moving down to go faster up to go slower strangely and uh, what else we've got we've got some cabin lights there you go switch that on that's better there the vents uh, i can we can move that can't move the vents windscreen wiper yeah they work so that works let's switch them off Oh, how do you switch them off? Oh, there you go. Put that off. Now, we'll keep an eye on the speed limit because we need to slow down shortly. So, yeah, that's the cockpit. I've got anything above. Oh, some air ventilation. Again, I don't think you can open that door. No, it won't let you open the door. Let no. So, we're about three miles away now. So, we're approaching Newport. Just keep an eye on the speed. We're going to be quite late. Well, actually, one minute late. 15.34, yeah, just about a minute late. See if we can speed up a bit and make some time. Another Riva train passing us. Of course, you can always collect the wipers from here, like, so you don't have to go into the cockpit to do it. You can click these, these controls here. These are your view controls. And uh, that's the engine start. That's any message you're getting. So it's a very simple um, interface for train simulator, which is great. You don't have to worry too much about lots of keys. So we should be arriving in Newport in about two or three minutes. And uh, there's the alarm to make sure we're awake. So let's start to slow down as we've got a 75 mile hour speed limit coming up. And we don't want to exceed that. I've already been penalized. And uh, just reducing speed to just under 75 miles per hour. And then we'll need to reduce it again to 60. So how are we doing for time? Yeah, we're going to be about a minute late. Oh, there you go again, that's a signal. What that does is actually make sure you're awake. Ensuring and reducing the speed to 60 miles an hour. It's funny that it still says 75 there, yet yeah, I'm sure we went past the speed limit saying it was le less than that, but there you go. That's the little ding, which means the speed limit is coming up. We're already below that, so that's okay. We'll increase a bit more. I'm not the best train driver in the world, I do try. 
I've paid it a number of times, so a bit familiar. Not not excellent in it, not brilliant in it, but okay. Going through the tunnels now. And then we need to reduce to 30 miles an hour. Hmm, are my lights on? Look at it off. There's light at the end of the tunnel. So then we should get to 30, so let's start reducing speed. And there's Newport Station. So we've reduced in time and speed. And does this look like Newport? Let's have a look. Yes, it does. There's that famous walk over bridge that you walk across the other platform with. So we are very impressed. Very happy with this. It's a great add on pack. So we'll just reduce a bit more speed. Very well, well, accurate, well portrayed. And I've got to say, it is. For me, this this pack, I would give it eight, nine out of ten. I, I'm very impressed with how how well they've done this. And I'm speaking from experience with regards to this route because I I know it quite well. So here we go. We're in Newport. There's Newport Station. Oops, I beg your pardon looks authentic, looks realistic and that should be the end of our journey and uh, let's wait for the passengers to get on and for the doors to close and then he'll take the train over to Hollyhead there you go, well done, that was a great run so, scenario complete uh, oh, I've got an achievement as well. Look at that. South Wales Coastal 1W95 scorer. Right. Great. So I don't know why this does happen, but there you go. So we've done that. If I go into career mode and uh, we go to the South Wales Rhine, which is near the bottom somewhere. There we go. Keep going. Riviera, South London. Okay, here we go. We've got Cardiff to Hollyhead. We've got Car Hollyhead to Cardiff. Cardiff to Cheltenham Spa. Chatham to my stag, went Luke to Southampton, Taunton to Cardiff, um, London to Swansea, the high speed train. We've got Portbury to Rugley, Cardiff to Chatham, Cardiff Queen Street to uh, Cardiff Bay, yep, yeah. so we've got that one. Bristol Temple Meads to Cardiff, so we've got a, a Bristol route as well, which is great. And uh, what's this one? Uh, oh, we actually see some trains here, look as well. Rail fan mode. Located at Newport, observe the operations and passing from a good vantage point. So we'll quickly have a look at that. Let's go to the Cardiff. Let's go to the uh, Bristol Temple Meet. No, let's go Cardiff. Let's go Cardiff. Click on start. I've not seen that before, so I'm wondering what that is. So let's have a quick look as we uh, wait for it to load. That's the uh, background image for the South Wales coastal route. As you can see, the Millennium Stadium in the back, the Arriva trains in the foreground and uh, the cloudy skies as well of course with a bit of blue sky too which is uh, quite rare sometimes in south wales so let's wait for it to load i'm interested in seeing what this this uh, mode is i've never seen this before so let's have a look as soon as it loads up oh, that's the north somerset railway as well there we go so what are we supposed to do use the various cameras to photograph photograph passing trains by pressing ctrl s on the keyboard Zoom in, put and press pause to free the number and close this box. Oh, okay. What am I supposed to do? Oh, you can move around. So how do you... Uh oh. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these controls? Am I... Alright, oh, so you have to look up to... to um 
to move upwards. I'm just going to go to have a look what's over there. And it's normally that train which goes to Taunton there. Look, I'm going to have a quick look at Cardiff itself. See at the Millennium Stadium. Well, I gotta say that the bus station doesn't look like that, and I think we've got orange and green buses, so the, the buses are a bit wrong. Let's go towards the Millennium Stadium, but can we actually see inside there? No, the roof is closed. The roof is closed. That's where the Great Welsh Rugby team play. And there's the River Taff, famous river. And. Uh, that's I think I uh, there's Cardiff City Stadium, the football stadium. So they've modelled that as well, and they've modelled the um, the Ninian Park Depot, which was where Cardiff City used to play near then, and now they play across the road. So that's there. The River Taff is there. The Millennium Stadium is there. So all in all, accurate. Can we get inside the stadium? Oh, well. There's no pitch there, so that's a shame. If I go up, up through here, yep. I always remember that this this thing there. I I don't know what that is supposed to be actually. If somebody does know, let me know because I've seen that many for many years and still don't know what it is. Let's go back towards the station. We're supposed to be photographing trains. Anyway, so I'll well, leave it there. And uh, I've got to say that, for me personally, I've been waiting for this route for a while. It's not a disappointment. They've captured quite a lot of detail. The trains are great. There's no um, crashes, as far as I can see. And we have a lot of options to choose from with regards to the routes. And i got to give it a rating of 9 out of 10. Well done, Dovetail. And uh, I'll be posting some more videos about some of the other uh, routes that um, we have on this particular South Wales route. But for now, um, for more simulation news, please check up, check out PCSimulators.org. We're also on the Steam community groups. So let's just look for PC Simulators, and on Facebook. So, oh, of course, follow us on Twitter too. More details on the website. But thanks for watching, and uh, please leave your comments and let us know what you think. Bye for now.